Good morning or good afternoon, depending or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, we're going to do the third part of our robots and marbles tutorial using CAD CAD. So in our last video, we did a live code um, building um, just copying block by block of the configuration file for our robots and marbles. And in this example, we're, we're going to add another little complexity and show what that is and then run it and show what the different results are as we've been building complexity from stage one all the way through uh, tutorial four. And eventually there's going to be some more tutorials. Um, there's currently one we're working on that will include network X, which is a graphing uh, a graph theory tools to sh show how with CAD CAD we can integrate other scientific Python libraries to add more features that are not possible um, in other in other tools and allow for for more complex analysis. So a brief recap here. We have the robots and marbles. Um, I do recommend going back if you have this is your first video to just flip through the other videos um, that we've had part one and two just so you're familiarized with the concept. Um, but I'll briefly go here. This is our overview, our whiteboarded example of what we're talking about, where we just have a, a robot. We have a process and we have boxes of marbles, box A and box B. And the robot is trying to make um, the boxes have the same amount of marbles in them. So what we have, then we, when we have our high level idea of what we're doing, then we convert it down into the syntax, which we're soon going to be having a, a little guide that we're going to be releasing that explains what these different components are. You don't need to use this process, but for us, when we get more complex systems, more complex than this, it's just good to always start doing the right process from the get go. Um, helps us um, solidify our large ideas down into a, a graphing format that then we can put into code. We have in this tutorial, two behaviors, we're having two robot arms because in the real world in complexity, you don't usually have one, you have, you have multiple actors that are doing different things. They have different uh, um, thought processes and optimization points. So we're having two robot arms here. They're each in, um, controlling an arm that is trying to increment their box uh, of marbles. So we have two states, box A and box B of marbles. So what we're going to have here is uh, the, the difference in our process here is we're having robot one acts every two time steps and robot arm three acts every three time steps. So if they have a different policy and they're going to act a little differently as the goal here is we're trying to get to equilibrium, but the, the arms are going to operate slightly differently. So let's pop over to the configuration file and see kind of what's changed from last time. Last time when we did the, the coding example from scratch. Um, we were deleted some of these things we didn't need. We're doing one run. We have 10 time steps. We have behavior, which is the robot arm, which essentially is trying to uh, make sure the box is equal the same. And as, as we talked about in the first video, we try and go to when we're initially trying to make a system, we try and first go to math and, def and define what our, our behaviors and things, instead of just writing in code here, like what am I trying to do? Am I trying to, uh, if we can do it in sim simple math, I'm trying to equilibrate the um, the boxes. So here we have the robot period. This is new. We have a list that shows remember, robot arm one acts every two time steps, robot two acts every three time steps. And we're defining um, the behaviors here. We're not going to use this behavior anymore, which is our old, um, old robot behavior. So we will just comment this out. Um, I'm commenting out things we're not using in Python. Comments are just these uh, hashtags right here. Uh, so we have the two uh, list here and then robot arm one is showing every time step um, we are going to operate every two when they're equal multiple of two and then that's where we're going to um, call so we need this we're calling this robot arm thing because this just equilibriates this behavior right here is stating um, that we want to go every two time periods this one says we want to do every three time periods because it's calling this list here and seeing where, where the mark where where um, the correct part, part is, and then it calls this robot arm, which pertains our logic. Our mechanisms stay the same, which is essentially like however many we have here, we're going to be adding to that box, and we're adding to the other boxes. Arm one controls uh, increment A, which is box one, and um, robot arm two controls box two. And we have, starting with our states, starting with box, the box A has 10 marbles, and box B has zero marbles. And then what we have here in the policy section is slightly different. Instead of defining one robot and one robot arm, we're defining two robot arms as they're both act acting independently. The rest of these parts are the same. And then when we come in here and run, when we come in here and run our results, 
we have um, something slightly different here. As you can see, they act every, uh, initially it's starting the same, they only act every two, two time steps. So nothing happens the first time step. So zero is the starting, one is the first time step. And then we have some kind of interesting activity. We, we stay here for a little bit at seven, three, and eventually we hit the equilibrium. And if you see eventually in our, our initial example, it was um, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, bam, then we hit five. And this was zero, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then we just equilibrated at five, I believe at time step five versus here, or I guess it was still six, the action is a little different. So when we graph it, we get this weird shape. They're still hitting this, the equilibrium, which we want, but there's a little bit more variation here. And uh, we will have these tutorials posted as you can see kind of the logic of, of exactly what happened here. I wrote it out for you of exactly what happens, um, how they work. It's slightly complex, but as you can start seeing, you can have behaviors of different actors interacting with each other and then add some more complexity, more real world interactions, um, which when you're trying to do modeling of behaviors and things, behavioral economics, or just trying to see how people are going to interact with your platform, this, these type of features of having these, these interactions with different behaviors are become very important. Um, it's a great part of CAD CAD. Well, as always, um, thank you for watching and let us know if you have any questions in our Telegraph channel. And these result, these, uh, this notebook will be posted on our GitHub page. Thanks.